Determine the exponential function corresponding to each graph, then use the function to find the unknown. All graphs in this example have the form y equals b to the power of x. In part a, we'll find the exponential function of the graph shown. An exponential function with no transformations has the form f of x equals b to the x. Let's outline a strategy to solve this problem. First, identify the b value by plugging a known point into the exponential function. Next, write the exponential function. And finally, use the exponential function to solve for the unknown. Select a point on the graph and use it to solve for b. In this example, we'll use the point 216. Begin with the exponential form f of x equals b to the power of x. Plug in the point 216. Take the square root of both sides. The b value is 4. Even though the square root of 16 equals positive or negative 4, we only use positive 4. This is because, by definition, an exponential function must have a positive base. Since b is greater than 1, we have exponential growth. The exponential function is f of x equals 4 to the power of x. Plug in negative 2. Four to the power of negative two equals one over four squared. The value of n is one over 16. Now we'll move on to part b. An exponential function with no transformations has the form f of x equals b to the x. Select a point on the graph and use it to solve for b. In this example, we'll use 3, 27 over 8. Begin with the exponential form f of x equals b to the x. Plug in the point 3, 27 over 8. Take the cube root of both sides. The b value is 3 over 2. Since b is greater than 1, we have exponential growth. The exponential function is f of x equals 3 over 2 to the power of x. Plug in negative 3. Flip the fraction and change the sign of the exponent. The value of n is 8 over 27. Now we'll move on to part C. An exponential function with no transformations has the form f of x equals b to the x. Begin with the exponential form f of x equals b to the x. Select a point on the graph and use it to solve for b. In this example, we'll use negative 2, 25.
plug in the point negative 2, 25. b to the power of negative 2 equals 1 over b squared. Cross multiply. Divide both sides by 25. Take the square root of each side to isolate b. The b value is 1 over 5. Since b is between 0 and 1, this is exponential decay. The exponential function is f of x equals 1 over 5 to the power of x. Plug in 1. The value of n is 1 over 5. Now we'll move on to part d. An exponential function with no transformations has the form f of x equals b to the x. Begin with the exponential form f of x equals b to the x. Select a point on the graph and use it to solve for b. In this example, we'll use negative 2, 16 over 9. Plug in the point negative 2, 16 over 9. b to the power of negative 2 equals 1 over b squared. Cross multiply. Divide both sides by 16. Take the square root of each side to isolate b. The b value is 3 over 4. Since b is between 0 and 1, this is exponential decay. The exponential function is f of x equals 3 over 4 to the power of x. Plug in 3. The value of n is 27 over 64.